Welcome! This plant is an aloe. Aloe is a genus from the South African family of Aspodilaceae. To the same family belongs the genus Gasteria and the genus Haworthia as well. All these three genera are very much alike and it's quite easy to confuse which plant belongs to which genus. Very often you can uh, have hybrids of aloe and gasteria uh, a genus, which is quite unusual, because usually plants from diff a different genus will not, cannot be cross-pollinated. One of the few rules that allow to distinguish between aloe and gasteria are the spiky bumps on the leaves that either form on the edges of the leaves or on the entire leaf. And you can see that here, there is a spike here. There are some spiky structures here in the middle as well and at the, um, and at the bottom of the leaf as well. There are many of them. If you, you see, there are many of them, but the, um, uh, they are always at the edge of the leaf and in every aloe species and gasterias do not have those. I made a video about a gasteria yesterday, Gasteria glomerata, and my friend who watched it said that I didn't really say enough about how I am taking care of gasteria. Aloes and gasteria require the same type of care, the same type of treatment, so I will tell you now how I take care of, gas of my gasteria, how I take care of this aloe, and also how I take care of my Haworthsias. It is not really difficult. They need to be watered all year round. A little bit less in winter, but they don't need a winter rest and on the contrary if you keep them very dry they will not appreciate it and they will be and they will they, they might e even dry out completely so they need to be watered in the winter and they need to be watered in the summer quite abundantly and also what they require they they require partial partial shade filtrated sun they can't be left in full sun because that will burn them even though they are even though they are succulents which means they do store water in their leaves uh, they don't like to be uh, left in full sun just like a few of my plants this plant developed roots and at the bottom of this container, there is some water that accumulated uh, from when I was watering the plant. Some of the water was dripping down and then it didn't evaporate and it stayed there. And the roots of this plant sensed the humidity uh, below and they grew through the many holes that uh, there are in this pot. And Many times it happened that the water completely was completely dried, that there was no more water in this container, so the roots and the roots died, and then when there was some water left there again, the new roots uh, grew down and this is exactly what is happening in nature a plant is creating roots is um, investing into roots when it senses humidity and the roots die out, dry out and die when there is no water available because it's quite pricey for a plant to maintain a well-developed system of roots if they don't really have a mean to provide any water this is an old plant. I've had it for many, many years. It didn't grow until I put it in this container and until it happened that I left some water at the bottom of this container and the plant developed roots. And right now it's growing very nicely. It is producing leaves. Uh, the old leaves dry out and die after, I'm not sure how long, but they do 
dry out and die eventually they don't they don't last forever and then new leaves are created and new leaves are produced this plant never bloomed for me so i have no idea what kind of flowers it will have uh, i know that they will be similar to the gasteria flowers that they may be colorful may be white i know that they probably if it at this plant ever blooms it they will probably be bigger than the gasteria flowers i'm not sure what species it is and if it is a pure species botanical species or if it is a hybrid i don't know anything about this plant other than that that it belongs to the aloe genus and if you do know what kind of aloe it is and if you could uh, please let me know in the comments section below this video i would appreciate it a lot thank you very much for watching my video i hope you like this plant i like it a lot have an amazing day